We're on a fine bit of form going into this episode. Can we keep the good times rolling? Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Bolton and uh, we've got a couple of games today which we would expect to go and uh, at least win one of them. Norwich we're uh, at home and then we've got Spurs away from home. Uh, we're lying eighth in the uh, table which is very very surprising. Just the two losses so far this season to Man City and Liverpool we're on a pretty good decent run of form actually to be perfectly honest and uh, in that mix uh, the Carabao Cup as well. So since we played Derby in the 2-0 win in the last episode we did lose to Man City 4-2 very very disappointing. Uh, we were what we were winning Yes, uh, Fryn on the score sheet and then Arnold as well scoring late on, which we did get back to 2-2 and then two very, very late goals, which was uh, which totally destroyed us, actually. And uh, we beat Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup the following game on penalties, mind, but we still get, went through. United, a very, very famous victory, expecting a loss, backs to the wall. Very, very surprising, considering we did lose to the neighbours 4-2 uh, a couple of weeks back. We followed that up with a 2-2 disappointing draw at, uh, away to Bournemouth after just knocking them out of the Carabao. We continued the drawing with them. Then we had another draw and the nil That's right, we kept a clean sheet this time, this time at home to Fulham. Uh, and then we had a, a very entertaining 3-3 draw with... Um, Newcastle where we actually thought we'd won it. We were 2-0 down to lead 3-2 and then with literally the clock coming down to the last seconds we conceded a 91st minute goal. But uh, we had O'Reilly, Frint and Gomez scoring for that one. In fact uh, Pietro scored in the following game. Huddersfield, uh, we're going to give him a start today Pietro. Uh, just because he scored in the last game and I think he's deservedly of it and I think he's finally uh, he's, he's back to match fitness and um, who better player to start than uh, other than Fryn and if it's not Fryn it's going to be Pietro so it's only going to be one of them two guys isn't it really but a 2-0 victory over uh, Huddersfield it did we had to wait 20 minutes and then on the hour as well but like I say today we've got Norwich who are lying in 7th position and uh, Tottenham in the 5th so they're both above us I wasn't aware of that I thought they were going to be pretty easy games but they're not uh, Norwich are just above us uh, a win here at home and uh, we would leapfrog them I mean, what a contrast it is to last season. I tell you that much for nothing. And uh, the goals, uh, Frint is um, he's a fourth leading goal scorer there. Wow. Maybe I ought to put him in. We're away from the bottom teams at least. Everton surprisingly find themselves at the bottom of the table. Right, let's uh, jump into it then. Straight into the game. We are without uh, Arnold on the right hand side. And uh, but Dooku is going to play in there instead. I don't think we have another right winger. Which I was quite surprised at actually. Led possibly not. But we're going to have Batali in goal. We've got Norville Williams. Uh, Didi and Leah are going to partnership in the centre. But Colotti on the left. And sadly he's playing really well since this came in. Robertson and Arala in the centre. Then we've got Hughes, Gomez and Duku uh, in the midfield attacking. And then we're going to have Pietro up front. Hopefully he's going to do the business. Uh, like I say, Arnold's out injured. He's going to be for another four days and he's not fully fit at all. Buon Giorno, he is suspended for this game. Hopefully he'll be back for the uh, Tottenham game. There, He's suspended for the next round. I'm hoping it's just this game. Ennis is injured. Blin's injured as well. But I am going to put him onto the bench just in case. We haven't really got that many at midfielders attacking at least anyway we've already got in fact we've got everybody else on the bench haven't we even Brandon Williams is there on the left hand side just in case we need him just to fit out on the left wing if need be Man United are top by the way with that one loss yes that one loss coming to us yes uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, we've got Man City and Arsenal, the other teams unbeaten in the league. Chowdhury, look at his hair. Wow, that's massive hair, that is. Not going to be mistaking him on the pitch, that's for sure. Right, okay, changing rooms. It is. Uh, pick up where we left off. We're on a little bit of a good run, so let's not spoil it. And uh, we've been indebted to him recently. We've looked good in training. Okay, let's kick off the proceedings then. As uh, the group cuddles or huddles and um, the cuddles, that just sounds so weird, doesn't it? Everybody, everybody join in. No, we're not going to be doing that. 
10 minutes in nothing's particularly happening uh, we are on a positive we have uh, we are playing this uh, attacking midfielder approach which I think seems to work out pretty well let's see if we can get our team focused a little bit they're inspired okay that's good enough as uh, Norwich are really running the show at the minute but uh, Riley passes it down to Norville Williams is going to cross that in back post bang back of the net Liam Hughes get in and this is what we have been doing and it's a beautiful goal well worked down here at the right hand side bottom even uh, with the beginning with the throw in O'Reilly getting involved and uh, I tell you the good few buyers like Liam Hughes Matt O'Reilly and uh, they are um, absolutely superb at the back I'm assuming it's Matt O'Reilly there's Norwich in the red and uh, not seen him playing a red kit before is there any so well straight into Patali's hands there uh, that'll do you could oh Gomez is looking rather battered. What what's happened to him? Oh, he's picking up his condition a little bit. He must have just got a little knock or something. But hey, we're winning one 0 We're under the cosh quite a lot of it really. The league table does show us jumping into sixth with Leapfrog in Norwich and West Ham. Although that could all change if Fulham win their game as well. Guard against complacency now. Don't do anything daft. Do we drop one person back? Have three midfield, or do we just leave it as we are? As we are not on the front foot well we do header it away our defending better especially on corners we get blocks in we get headers in and uh we have a goalkeeper that can do that i'm assuming we are on a full capacity another full capacity at twenty-eight thousand. clearly it uh, does help us a fair bit knowing we've got that many supporters as uh, liam hughes uh takes the ball away norwich are winning this by a long way aren't they they're get, having the opportunities have they have another chance at the far uh at the top of the screen the header in and another wonderful save by our goalkeeper he's playing at 7.2 the only player on the pitch that's playing at a seven i mean that is just uh, outrageous norwich once again are coming at us now if we can continue like this and getting away. Go on, Duku. Lost the ball over to Pietro, who's not had a look in all game. Uh, he does has a crack as well. He manages to get a shot in there. And that's what he can do. But that is virtually our early shot on the game, apart from that goal. Liam Hughes with a cross. Pietro's there. And he has a two inside a minute. Now, the question is, do we do anything here at all? Uh, let's demand a little bit more. Uh, may have to bring somebody else in. Who's not really? Robertson's not really getting in on it, really, is he? So we're going to bring in uh, McCormick. He can as a ball winner. We're going to use him as a ball winner midfielder in that one. Gomez, I'm going to drop out. And I am going to bring in Kloss. Kloss is reasonably well. And I'm going to just have him as a uh, attack midfielder on support. He'll just drop back just a touch. Hopefully just to collect the ball. And that'll be about it. We have got Blinn on the bench. And Brandon Williams, I'm tempted... But not that tempted. Remembering he was one of the players that I was aiming to get rid of until we lost um, our main <laughs> uh, Colville or Colwell. Our, um, I can't even remember his name. It's been that long. Oh, that's a poor ball. And uh, we've just given it away. Is this what we've done? Yeah, it is. We've just threw that away. A bad giveaway there. I'm just hoping this isn't... Uh, I, mean, I mean, is that the Norwich fans there? They're going, no, I got away with it. Oh, or are they all cheering? The uh, armchair Ameri um, Mexican wave. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, they're all standing up. The goalkeeper not positioned as well, but a wonderful uh, somersault on the floor, though. Norwich have been all over us here. The cross comes in, and somehow it's gone in. Mendy scores his first goal of the season. We're one. We're two one down. So in the matter of minutes, we've just had this game taken away from us. I'm not too happy about that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, to be fair, it has been all Norwich. But we held on so, so well. And uh, are we going to really collapse that badly? Liam Hughes may have something to say about it. The ball not really up, the, up for a um, great ball though. But Kone, oh, Dooku almost there. Is that the chance? Is this an opportunity? Liam Hughes, back post, Pietro. Oh, maybe I should have brought Frin on. Last couple of minutes. We haven't done ourselves any justice at all. We've just been totally outplayed. And there it is. Game over. Well, in just a matter of minutes where we were leading, we've just gone and um, collapsed. And it's not a game we really should have... Well, 
wanted to lose. I mean, what happened in the set? We, yeah, we just got absolutely battered, didn't we? We didn't play really well. We ran the same amount of kilometres around a square oblong pitch, I guess. But, uh, yeah, average rating wasn't the best. I mean, what is our rating? Changing rooms then. I'm not happy. Uh, 7.1 for uh, Batali. He did his best. It's a disappointing collapse. Right, now we've got to pick ourselves up and play Tottenham. Who uh, who look like they are on form? Uh, they're just a couple of points ahead of us. Norwich leapfrog Tottenham now with that victory, as though we uh, ha have inflicted a third loss this campaign. Which, to be perfectly honest, we are riding far higher than we should be. Right, with Tottenham coming up in a week's time, we're going to race over to that, and uh, we'll see you guys very shortly. Welcome back then to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. Yes, Tottenham are on a very, very good run. They've won the last five games. Granted, two of them are, are in Europe. Uh, granted, two of them are in Europe. But, uh, yes, um, five straight wins. Five straight wins and we're going to go over to Tottenham. It's uh, probably not the ideal game we really want to go to. Uh, being Them being one of the probably tougher top six teams in the country at the moment. But with that being said, we do have the capability to surprise a few people. Man United, I'm not just saying. Um, but we didn't lose. We didn't beat Man City. But saying that, the defeat against Man City, 4-2, two goals in the last minutes of the game, is nothing compared to what Man City did to Bournemouth. And that was in the last game. They thrashed them 8-1, which put their goal defence up to 18. <laughs> Half of them being in that game. With enough being said, we're going to go Batali in goal. We've got Norville Williams, Didi and Buongiorno. Um... Together at the back with Colotti on the left hand side. O'Reilly and Robertson are going to just swap roles. O'Reilly is a DLP this time. Robertson is a Mazella. Arnold will welcome back. He's not quite fit, but we've got nobody really on that right hand side. Gomez can play there, but I want him in the centre. Uh, Hughes on the left hand side. And we're going to start with Frin this time. He is our leading goal scorer. Seven goals in ten games. One assist. It will be at one point where we will eventually go to two up front. Then we can have Frin and Pietro partnering once more. Right, into this game then. Moise Keane, they have Cotrone. Uh, they've got Nier, Didi, Fati, Dyer, Sanchez. Got Yeah, it's quite... Uh, Pickford's in goal. Seven goals conceded. And uh, Batali, 15 and 14. That's not bad considering where we are. And we've had a, quite a few... Uh, Poor results. Well, a couple of results where we got battered. Right, okay, straight into the changing rooms then. Uh, there's, remind them there's no pressure. I uh, certainly say it's um, got nothing to lose there. We know how good we are. Let's show everybody what we're capable of. Okay, they seem to like that. We're just going to top it up with a bit of faith. A few more people kind of, uh, yeah, okay. We love it. Oh, look at the texture on that grass. Looks nice. Right, London. A long trip all the way down south. And uh, the ball's kicked off. Uh, we didn't even notice. The other games in today uh, for today is West Ham and Fulham. Fulham, are, I think they're below us. I'm not quite sure. But West Ham have missed a penalty. Uh, Frin has the ball. Holds it up well. Down to Colotti. Colotti plays about to Bungiorno. And uh, we eventually get it back to Patoli. Did he? And so, oh, this is beautiful play. Really nice. Arnold's getting involved. And Arnold leaves Robertson short there as uh, Fatih comes forward. And uh, a wonderful save by uh, Batali. Uh, hopefully that's not a things to come. Because that's not what we do want to see. Fatih with the corn. Wow, that's just over. Ooh-wee. I was, uh, did wonder whether we were going to concede straight away. As we have a throw in. Take that cursor off there because it does <laughs> turn into a massive football. And it's not where we're looking. And uh, Norville's losing plot a little bit there. Again, we're leaving the passes short. As Norville, is he going to outrun him? Probably not, and he doesn't. So, to form there, then. Tottenham just playing it around. And uh, they find the, find the gap for Moise Keane just to... Oh, it's a tackle. It's a good stop, though. He did put him off a little bit, though, I think. Granted, we are looking... I mean, they're playing a 4-4-2 formation, so probably wise for us to do the same, really. As we may have to drop uh, everybody back. At some point. That's a poor header. He plays it out to McNeil. And Tottenham are just uh, absolutely and utterly destroying us at the moment. Martin over to Dyer. McNeil is going to cross. No. Finds Catrone. And Batali is there once again. I mean, this guy is an absolute saviour for us at the moment. And already he's hit a 7 rating. <laughs> amazing. Uh, that's not amazing though. Although Liam Hughes does pick it up. Riley passes it to Gomez. Right. Run with it, my friend. Run. 
ex Man United player, show what you can do. And that's exactly what I can do. Forces a save from Pickford. Things are hotting up. Corner ball, Liam Hughes. Maybe we ought to not have him on corners, but if you can find one of our players, that'd be quite fine. Buongiorno does pick it up, and I'm not sure what happened there. Fulham have taken the lead. We were looking at Campwell just to fill in uh, just an additional player. Uh, the ball's got run loose, and we don't... What happened? It ran out of play. Penalty. Nobody shouted. I could do with the bottom. It's a penalty ref. That's what you want to say. Cor uh, corner. We get header it away. Like I say, we are pretty uh, sharp on corners. We do get the tackles in. Wow. He's uh, knocked it onto the post there, uh, Bolotti. And uh, Botoli, even. It's not Bolotti, it's Botoli. We are so many. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, well played, lads. Well played. We're going to have to drop back, aren't we? Uh, we can't afford to have too many people racing up. Excellent effort, guys. And um, I am going to. I don't want to drop them down, but I'm gonna have. I see. It, I'm. I am going to have to. Uh, gamers can play up there, and uh, we'll 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 do that. I don't like doing that. Changing formations it just kind of ruins the whole structure of things. As uh, we just get bodies back, just play a little bit more. Uh, say defensively, but uh, we're still as a positive appro approach. As uh, we're just gonna go a little bit more balanced. I think we haven't really. Um, penetrated them at all and that's the worrying thing that we have got the players capable of doing it but um we're not doing it as a uh, cross comes in that's just wide as well but Tully's just watched it go wide he took the uh, complimentary dive knowing full well it was a uh, wide and the cross comes in we do header it once again it's a good uh, interception as uh, and he there on the edge of the box plays it in and another effort skims the top of the bar we are we're looking rather uh We'll go cautious now. Try and hit them on the break. Gomez isn't really doing anything up there. And that's a corner ball, I, I guess. But Tolly is playing an absolute blinder, he is. The cross comes in and uh, somehow it sneaked in. Wow, I'm not sure really what happened there. Uh, Sanchez scores his first, second goal of the season as overlooked. I mean, he pushed it onto the bar, but I think he pushed it onto the inside of the top bar. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not uh, great for us, is it? Frin's not really had anything to do up there, has he? Uh, I'm going to bring Reese Cole in as well. He can play that. I'm going to swap these two guys around. I think they can do that. Liam Hughes, do we go back up attacking? I don't particularly want to just yet. And we're going to bring in Laird on this right-hand side. Uh, just because I can, and I will. Just give him a chance. We've had three shots today. We've not really done anything. And so shall we just go demand a little bit more and go back to uh, positive? Can we get that ball up to Frin at all? Anything? We've not had a, we've not really done anything, have we? One nil loss. Again, we lose by the odd goal, and it's away from home. It's not a bad result, but 22 shots we conceded, 10 on target. It's not the best. Even when we try to pull people back to. Uh, stem the flow it still hasn't worked uh, excellent efforts it was excellent but it's again another loss so two losses today not what i had in mind chelsea beat newcastle six nil fulham lost to west ham so we did have uh, a little bit of form going into this game uh, this episode and uh, that's just um died away of death hasn't it right we've got chelsea southampton but when do we come back quarter finals uh, we could take on Aston Villa and then the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. That would be quite something. Away from home as well. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll play a few more. Come back to the Villa and Southampton. Or do we come back to the Southampton uh, West Ham on television as well? I'm thinking quarterfinals. It's a cup game. I think we're uh, over exceeding the Carabao. Third round is where we were expected to reach. Fight bravely against relegation. They're very pleased with that. And they're not happy about the these two defeats but they're uh, they're very happy overall it, it just seems a little bit bizarre right okay so we'll come back to them to a couple of games and hopefully we'll um well we'll have something to shout about at least in one of them i guess right if you enjoy that please pop a like on there if you'd like to see more new channel please subscribe and until next time guys thank you very much for watching thank you